What is up YouTube? Brian here back again with another video and today we are going to do another little bit of a flyover deep dive. Just a quick check on some things regarding X-Zone lures and their plastics. So about three years ago I started getting into X-Zone lures. Um, I bought a bunch of their stuff off their website. They had a code. People said they were, they were pretty good and I've basically been using X-Zone plastics since non-stop over like the last three seasons. This will be my fourth season with X-Zones as like a main plastic in my rotation. Um, and it, I've been doing it for a couple reasons. I found a handful of their baits that are just great. Like just really work, catch fish, easy to use. I'm gonna talk a little bit about those. Also, they sent me, so Exxon, full, full disclosure, Exxon sent me a box. I have no affiliation with Exxon. I'm not one of their pro staff. I'm not an affiliate. I, I don't have any codes or anything for them. They just said, hey, you like our stuff. Can we send you a few things? I'm like, sure. So they sent me this cool hat. They also sent me a box full of these bad boys, their new bait that they released at, uh, I, at I'm sorry, a bait Bassmaster Classic this year called the Stealth Invader. So this is their new bait. They're trying to get the word out on this thing. And now I'm a smallmouth guy. And I fish a lot in Wisconsin, and this bait is like right at my eye. So I'm definitely going to be trying this thing out this spring. I'm definitely going to be using it. But this is not a uh, review. This is just a first impressions. Let's take a look at it. But I am going to dive into some of the other baits that are in my main X zone rotation. And I'm going to explain why I like them and what I do them or what I use them for. So first off, let's just get this guy out of the way. Um, I think it's the one people are probably most curious about. So this is basically a goby style bait. But the, the interesting thing about this is that the paddle tail on it is very small and it's inverted. So to me, this is a, it's kind of a mix between a drop shot bait and a finesse paddle tail. It almost looks like a crappie bait. Like this is something that you might find in like the panfish world, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't know why, but they gave it like these uh, dinosaur spikes down the back, which I think is kind of, <laughs> kind of interesting. Very unique. Um, I don't know if they really have a purpose other than just kind of looking cool in the package. Uh, but it's got a really big fat head, which I kind of like. Um, couple things you can do with this this is obviously a drop shot bait like you can nose hook this thing or even put the hook down through the body kind of belly hook it definitely going to be a drop shot bait i think they really um wanted to make this look like a goby or a sculpin kind of imitator for dragging on the bottom um obviously a ball head jig and just throwing it and letting it hit the bottom bringing it across sand hard bottom um obviously rocks that kind of stuff so obviously bald headed jig is going to be a technique a um, paddle tail, like work it like a paddle tail swim bait right down on the bottom. Obviously drop shot. I think the two things that I think are kind of like the X factor with this bait is definitely a Ned rig. I don't see why you couldn't throw a Ned head on this thing or even like a little finesse football jig head and drag it that way. Also, one thing I was playing with, which is I'm ple pleasantly surprised is the um, application of a possible hover rig. So this is a hover rig setup. This is the new Matt Steffen um, core tackle hover rig uh, hook, but you know a lot of people know how to hover rig. They have these hooks. Um, you can put a nail weight in this thing to give it a little weight. But I think as a hover rig bait, uh, this could work pretty good. I think this might be a fun alternative to some of the other things, and you're going to get a little boot action when you're popping it up off the bottom. So hover rig, Ned rig, drop shot, and definitely just throw a ball head jig on this thing and work it on the bottom like like fishing walleyes or something, right? So I have a feeling like this is definitely going to catch large mouth, small mouth. Most definitely, you can get to catch some walleyes on this. I'm actually kind of excited to use this bait for walleye fishing. To be perfectly honest, out in Wisconsin, I think this is going to catch walleyes 100%. So it comes in a lot of colors. You only get six in a package, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wish you got more. Um, but they're three inches. They're kind of a cool bait. I have no idea if they're going to work or not. I have not actually hit the water yet. We are still in the ice period here in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So it's going to be still a couple more weeks before I can get out in the water and play around with this thing. But I have confidence that it's going to be a fun bait. I think it's unique. I think it's interesting. Um, you know, it is what it is. We're going to try it out. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna, if, I, if these things work, I'm definitely going to make some videos or some more content about these things. Um, but that's that's down the line. Okay. They also have some cool colors. Uh, this is just straight black. Oh, sorry. The color I was showing you just now is called Touchdown. Uh, Touchdown appears to be kind of a green pumpkin, but it has some purple and some gold flake in there. Um I definitely going to throw black. I think black's just a great color, especially for smallmouth. Um, you know, it gets noticed, especially in clear water. Uh, smallmouth can't resist just straight black. And then this is their, you know, the Gobi version. Um, so this one is called Big Gobi. Uh, Big G Gobi. So they have a lot of great colors. Check them out. 
Omnia has these on sale right now for 25%. So if you're watching this video right when I drop it, hit the link in my description. You can get all this stuff 25% off on Omnia. Don't need codes or anything. So scoop some of these up right now during the sale. Honestly, the 25% off sale is really good. Um, Exxon does run sales and things on their own website, but you know, obviously if you're an Omnia premium member, this is a great deal. Okay, so that out of the way, I'm gonna talk about the, the Exxon Lures plastics that I use all the time. And I have to say, the number one, without a doubt, is the, whoops, I just dropped it, the Muscleback Finesse Craw. This has been my main absolute jig trailer, free rig bait, anything that I need a crayfish plastic for, the Muscleback Finesse Craw, not the regular size one. This is the three and a quarter. This bait has basically replaced the Chigger Craw for me. I used to love the Chigger Craw. That was like my main crawfish trailer my main crayfish bait for years and years and years i don't buy chigger craws anymore i like these better so this is the muscleback finesse craw it's three and a quarter I keep dropping this um the reason i like the muscleback finesse craw it's a great size it goes on pretty much small jigs to big jigs any jig you can get on this thing and when i like what i like about it is when i'm, I'm throwing it on a finesse football jig or a finesse jig i just bite I bite a little segment off this thing and it fits perfectly on like a depth headlock or the um, open water finesse jig from Beast Coast. Um, or, you know, you just want to go run around with a stealth fighter flipping jig or a Bass Tech jig, any just regular, any regular flipping jig, just an all around great trailer. What also is great, the body itself is definitely big enough to just free rig. So I'll just use this as a free rig bait just for smallies, works great. Um, definitely can use this as a swim jig trailer, although, they dropped a different bait that I kind of like better for swim jig trailers, but if you want to use this for a swim jig trailer, you absolutely can because it does have flanged flappy paddles. Um, Exxon lures float, so if you let this sit on the bottom, the arms do naturally come up. It doesn't sit like totally dead like a like a rage craw. Um, so it does have a natural float to it. Super versatile. I blow through packages of these things. I usually always have the green pumpkin and the black and blue muscle back craws in my boat at any time i probably have six packages of each color and i and, and whenever i get down to two packages i make sure i throw more in because i'm gonna blow through them durable bait just a, if you're a jig fisherman this is pretty much the only jig trailer plastic you need you can get this i mean i know a lot of people like speed craws i know a lot of people like rage menace um this has replaced all of them i don't i don't use anything else for a jig trailer except for the muscle back finesse craw absolutely gets bit fantastic crawfish three and a quarter inch you can't go wrong with these bad boys especially if you're a jig addict okay next one that i use a lot is their ned bait so they make a fantastic ned bait they came out with a couple years ago it's called the ned zone they have some new colors that they sent me i haven't ever actually thrown this one but it's very reminiscent of the robo uh the robo ned colors uh this one is the morning dawn so if you're looking for a excellent i love the packaging on this the clamshells are pretty cool on this um, although when they, when they switch to this clamshell, you get less baits than the old way they, they used to just throw them in a bag and you got, I think you got, um, 10 of them in a package and now you're only getting eight, but you got a clamshell trade off, I guess. But anyway, um, it's got a little bulbous tail. So there is a little bit of action in this thing on the water. It is floating. So it does come up on its own. These are just great Ned big Ned rig baits. If you want something a little different than your standard Elastec, um, Z-Man TRDs, you want to look for a different Ned bait. These things absolutely work. They get bit. I actually caught my PB smallmouth. So the biggest smallmouth I ever caught in my life was on the X Zone Ned Ned Zone on Malax. I believe it was the perch color. Um, yeah, so they do get bit. <laughs> no problem there. Cool baits. I'm definitely a fan of these. So they're, I would say these these Ned baits are in my top five Ned baits. So out of all the Ned baits I throw, I usually always have X Zones in my Ned package. They definitely work. Oh, one thing I want to say is they make a color called the 309. The 309 Ned bait color and the 309 in another bait we're going to talk about called the Finesse Slammer. Um, they are 100% walleye catchers. If you're a walleye person, grab some of the Finesse Slammers. We're going to talk about these in a second. And the Ned Zone in the 309 color and you will get bit. It looks, I don't know why, but walleyes love the 309 in both of these baits. Take, take a pro tip from me. if you Just do it. Trust me. You'll get bit. Okay, so we talked about the um, Muscleback Finesse Crawls. We talked about the Ned Zone. The newer bait that X-Zone came out with that I've had a lot of success with and now I'm a big fan of is what they call the Adrenaline Craw. So these bad boys came out 
Um, I want to say last year or the year before, <laughs> but I used these all last season. I think they were new last year. The Adrenaline Craw is a fantastic Texas rigged uh, grass bait. So this is this is what it looks like. It's kind of a hybrid uh, between a Rage Menace and a Raid, like and just a typical crayfish bait. But this thing comes through grass really, really well. Um, I usually rig this on a 4 ot ringed Gamagatu or VMC ring hook. Either one is fine. And then I have a I use a Texas rig, usually unpegged. And this is like one of my go between this and the Rage Bug. I got the most largemouth bites all season flipping grass with the Texas rig with the Adrenaline Craw and the Rage Bug. They're my two favorite Texas rig creature baits. You can't go wrong. This thing slides through cover really, really well. Rarely gets hung up. Gets bit. I've had some really great days flipping this thing in, in grass, anywhere from shallow to deep grass edges. So if you're a grass fisherman and you're looking for a nice creature bait that just comes in out of cover, slides really well, you can really bury that hook in there. Um, there is a cavity on one side where you can lay the hook point in. So you rig it through this side, have the hook point come up through. You do get a really nice indentation to kind of run that hook through and tuck expose it. Um, got big flappy paddles. Um, just a great bait. This thing just gets bit. It's one of my favorite largemouth baits right now. So I usually have this color. This is basically the color I buy the most. It's the green pumpkin and blue flake. I would say I'm flipping this 70 to 85 percent of the time is this color um the other color i really like that i'm going to show you is if you're in a little bit of dirty water or you know you got some overcast conditions and you want to go darker um my other favorite color in the adrenaline craw is this bad boy and this color is called purple shadow this is a cool one so this is my dark this is my dark muddy water bait um this thing is rad it's got half purple and then half black, basically. Pretty sure it's black. Yeah, black, dark blue on one side. Really cool purple flake on the other. This is just a really, really nice black, dark bait. You can flip these things heavy. You can Texas rig them on just a medium heavy or a heavy. You can throw these on your flipping stick, whatever. But these, basically these two colors, the green pumpkin and the purple shadow, pretty much the only colors I use. Uh, they have a lot of other great colors. Obviously, but I haven't really found a need to have more than just the green pumpkin in the dark. They get, they both get bit. They're great. Last year, actually, I think these came out two years ago. But recently, I think last year, they came out with the smaller version, the X-Zone Adrenaline Craw Jr., which is a three and a half inch bait. Um, the regular X-Zone Craws, these are four and a quarter. So they're a little bit, they're, they're longer and skinnier. And they work great with a four out hook. You could probably throw a five out too if you want, but I always use a four out. But the juniors I have discovered are fantastic swim jig trailers. Um, this has become my go-to swim jig trailer uh, for when I'm, when I'm swim jigging shallow and I want to have a horizontal bait like this to keep the, the, the swim jig up high in the water column to like, kind of get over grass. Like if I'm, if I'm swim jigging shallow with a quarter ounce swim jig, I'm throwing like around reeds, ducks, sh pads, just shallow grass, shallow cover, and I want to keep that swim jig up and going over the top. Um, I always have always used a crayfish style bait, whether it's a rage craw, you know, something like that. But these guys have totally replaced all of those. I love these as jig, uh, swim jig trailers. Um, this is obviously still the same old color, the green pumpkin and the uh, blue, the blue flake. The other color I use the most in for swim jigs is obviously the white. So I throw a lot of white swim jigs, a lot of uh, swim jigs with like, you know, white, silver, and then I always have these bad boys on the back of those. So basically between the white and the green pumpkin, these are like the only colors I really use in swim jigs. Um, obviously, you can use black. I don't, I don't throw too many black and blue swim jigs, to be perfectly honest. I'm usually imitating um, perch, bluegill, or just going straight white. Um, all of it works. To, all of it gets bit. So I really like the adrenaline, adrenaline claws. I really like the adrenaline craw, regular for grass flipping. Um, and then the juniors as swim jig trailers. Obviously you could use a junior as well for just a regular jig trailer if you want, but I still like the muscle back finesse craft for all jig related activities. Um, next bait I want to touch on, I kind of hinted at it earlier, but it is the finesse slammer. This bait's pretty famous. Brandon Palnick won a uh, Bassmaster Elite um, drop shotting these things. They definitely work. The slammers are good. I, I, you don't need me to sell you on these things. But nose hooking a finesse slammer is just a slam dunk, can't miss, drop shot presentation. Great walleye catcher. I am not. I can't tell you how many walleye schools in Wisconsin I've pulled up on, and then I drop these finesse slammers. 
it really even doesn't matter what color, but the 309 definitely gets bit. This is the perch color. This also works pretty well. But you drop these things down in front of a school of walleyes and you are gonna hit, you're gonna get fish after fish after fish. They just go nuts for these things. Great underrated walleye drop shot bait. You don't need live bait, you don't need shiners, you don't need minnows, you don't need leeches. Finesse slammers, drop shot in front of the walleye's face, probably gonna eat it, <laughs> especially if there's a group of them and they get competitive. But anyway. Really underrated bait for walleye fishing. Obviously, a very well-known bait for bass fishing. Um, so yeah, if you're a, if you're a multi-species person, you should really have some finesse slammers in your arsenal. The last bait I want to talk about is the one of their best worms is the muscleback fin fat finesse. So I don't, they call it a six-inch muscleback fat finesse. It's kind of a mouthful. I don't really like the name to be honest. I think they could have shortened that up a little bit. But anyway, this is one of the new colors that they came out with this year, and X-Zone sent this to me. This was free, hat was free, a couple of the stuff was free. Um, but this is in the tilapia color. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I like about these muscleback finesse, um, fat finesse worms, is these are really, really, really nice Nico rig worms. So um, I use these for Nico fishing uh, on spinning tackle, typically with the NRX 872S. Um, you know, hook right here. It's got a big head for a nail weight. So if you don't have like the super small tungsteny nail weights and you actually got like a nail or you got a big lead nail weight, this is the kind of worm you want to throw. I know a lot of people don't want to spend a bunch of money on their Nico nail weights. I know you can get the little tungsten ones. They're kind of expensive. You can go and buy the cheaper lead ones and get a bunch of them. If you're like, I got a bunch of lead, bigger Nico nail weights, or I know people just use actual finishing nails as well. This is the kind of worm you want. A lot of room in the head for throwing um, any kind of weights in there. This thing gets bit. Um, you obviously can just Texas rig this thing. You don't have to throw it on a Nico rig, but I have found it's a it, it's just a wonderful Nico rig uh, worm. Fish can't, can't not see it, especially if it's coming through grass. It's big, uh, it's chunky, gets bit, lots of cool colors stands up it floats um yeah so anyway the muscle back fat finesse six inch worm totally a fish catching nico worm you could even uh, throw these on a shaky head too if you got a slightly bigger shaky head definitely don't be afraid to shaky head these things but in my opinion they make the best nico worms out of the x zone lineup so one other thing they do have is if you're a Carolina rigger, one thing, one worm you should check out or you just like Texas rigging big worms is they do have a big 11 inch worm. This is like competing with like a 10 inch um, Berkeley power worm or the old monster, but this is the 11 inch blitz worm. And this is a color that just works really well up here in Minnesota. And this is motor oil. So um, if you're like on Lake Minnetonka, uh, you're, you're probably gonna want a Carolina rig, a motor oil, big worm around, especially in the middle of the summer around um, islands and deep grass and stuff. But anyway, if you're into big worms, they do have you covered. Uh, this is the one I would throw the 11 inch blitz worm on a big hook on a Carolina rig and just drag this bad boy around in, in grass and humps and rocks and wherever largemouth are hanging out in the middle of the summer. Uh, this is probably going to get bit. So if you are a big worm person and you're looking for some new big worms, like you throw the old monster all the time, or you throw the big Berkeley power worm all the time, you want something a little different, um, you can definitely check out the Blitz worms from X-Zone. They got you covered. They have a lot of cool colors in that as well. Um, motor oil is just a favorite of mine because motor oil, for some reason, gets really bit really well up here in Minnesota. It's just a, a go-to color up here. But anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this is like, hey, I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in X Zone baits. I don't really know which ones to buy, which colors. I hope this kind of helps you narrow this down a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the description. Definitely head over to Omnia, look through the X Zone selection that they have right now, and jump on that 25% off sale. Load up for the spring. I'm, I, I can't stress enough. If you're a jig person, these Muscleback Finesse Cross, these three and a quarters, could definitely be like your go-to jig trailer i go through so many of these things they're great um anyway that being said if you've made it to the end of this video please drop a like and hit subscribe and i appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit and nerding out about plastics i think it's fun all right we'll see you guys on the next one have a great day